What's up everyone? It's Cody, back again with another software salary and benefits video. In this video, we are going to talk about the benefits and compensation of software engineers working at Coinbase. Coinbase was founded back in 2012 by Brian Armstrong and Fred Herschel, and since then they have become the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the United States by trading volume. In May of 2020, they announced that they were becoming a remote first company and that they were not going to have any formal headquarters. Then in September of 2020, the company announced that they would not engage in any type of social activism and they gave employees one week to either get on board or they could accept a severance package and leave the company. Be sure to stick around until the end of this video if you want to know what that severance package entailed. All right, enough about the background of Coinbase. Go ahead, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and let's get into this video. To start off, I want to talk about the benefits offered to every software engineer that works at Coinbase. If you aren't interested in the nearly $9,000 of benefits that Coinbase offers their employees, feel free to skip ahead to the part of the video that you want to see. You can find timestamps to all the different parts of this video in the description. For starters, Coinbase offers free breakfast one day per week, and then they offer free lunch and dinner five days a week. As with all tech companies, you can expect free snacks and drinks in their office. Also, until employees can return to the office safely, the company is providing $300 per month, which can be spent on things like coffee, snacks, and food. Their 401k leaves a lot to be desired. They offer a 50% match on the first 2% of your salary, which means you're getting a 1% match. But thankfully, their other benefits and compensation package make up for this pretty weak 401k package. Coinbase offers up to $1,500 to spend on pre-approved IT accessories. This can include things like monitors, mice, keyboards, Wi-Fi equipment, those sorts of things. You can also expect to receive $75 per month for fitness related expenses and they will also give you $125 per month for your phone bill and internet. It doesn't end there because Coinbase also covers 100% of your medical, dental, and vision premiums. You can also expect commuter benefits up to $260 if you work out of their New York or San Francisco offices. They also offer a learning and development package which will cover up to $1,500 of learning expenses per year. Coinbase also offers fertility assistance and from what some employees have reported, that can be worth up to $75,000. Speaking of new parents, the company also offers 12 weeks of maternity and paternity leave. And then for regular vacation time, you can take off as much time as you want. The company has a unlimited paid time off policy. Once the world opens back up, the company has already said that they are going to allow most positions to exist in a remote capacity. So that means that if you are a software engineer, most likely you can continue to work remote for as long as you want. And of course, the company has gender neutral bathrooms. Total compensation for software engineers at Coinbase is made up of two different components. The first one is the base salary. This is the most important part because that is 100% guaranteed. It's what you get paid paycheck to paycheck. Base salaries are also generally the only thing that is considered for income verification purposes. Also, this is the number that they go off of when it comes to figuring out what is your 401k match. Also worth noting, Coinbase gives employees the option to get paid in Bitcoin, and given the price surge of Bitcoin over the last year, probably not such a bad idea. Then the second component comes in the form of restricted stock units, which vest over a four year period. After one year, 25% of that software engineer's total stock grant will become available to them. Then for the second, third, and fourth year, the stock still grants at 25% per year, but the employee gets access to it every quarter, which means it will vest at a rate of 6.25% every three months. Also, while the company provides a sign-on bonus, this is not a annual bonus. You only get that one time. So when I mention that later on in the video, just keep in mind the bonus is a one-time thing. You don't get that every single year. So an entry-level software engineer really doesn't have any sort of ownership in the product or project that they are working on. 
they are really still there just to be developed into a software engineer. The average entry-level software engineer stays at this level for six to 12 months. The base salary for a entry-level software engineer at Coinbase is $140,000 per year. Then they receive an average stock grant of $23,000 each year. The sign-on bonus, you can expect around $7,000. Add all of that up and we have a total compensation of $172,000 for an entry-level software engineer at Coinbase. The typical software engineer is expected to co-own a project with another engineer. At this point in their career, they should also be taking more initiative. This means that if they see a bug, they go off and fix it instead of waiting for someone to find it and tell them to do so. The average software engineer stays at that level for one to three years. The base salary for a software engineer increases a bit to $160,000 per year. The stock grant increases quite a bit, going up to $48,000. The sign-on bonus is kind of a weird one. It's $1,000. Don't know why, but that's just what has been reported. Add them all up and we get a total compensation of $210,000 per year to be a software engineer at Coinbase. To become a senior software engineer, you need a consistent record of owning a specific project area. The average senior software engineer will stay at this level for two to four years, and it really depends on when they start taking on more ownership over their specific area of expertise. You can expect a base salary of around $186,000. Then the stock grant per year is right around $106,000. That one-time sign-on bonus is $12,000. Again, add them all up and that gives us a total compensation of $305,000 per year. The staff software engineer shows ownership over their entire organization and they are seen as an expert in their specific subject area. Staff software engineers will stay at this level for at least three years, usually more. It really depends on when they're ready to increase their influence, which at that point really has to be influencing the entire company. The average base salary is $211,000 per year. Then they have a stock grant, which is worth $351,000. That sign-on bonus, you can expect around $20,000. And that gives us a total compensation of $582,000 per year. Coinbase also has a senior staff software engineer level. I wasn't able Able to find any sort of compensation information so unfortunately I cannot cover that in this video but if you do know what that compensation is feel free to leave a comment down below and help out others that are watching this video. I have to say I was really disappointed by the nearly non-existent 401k match that Coinbase offers but then as I saw the other benefits that the company offered I started to care less and less about that especially that $300 per month food stipend like that's pretty awesome and, and not something that you see from many other companies right now. Don't get me wrong, retirement is incredibly important and depending on the company and sort of what benefits they have, it may be more or less important. Then you have to take into account the total compensation which is offered by Coinbase. I found the total compensation package to be pretty average. It's nothing too crazy. Um, but as we break down the numbers, it starts to make a bit more sense why. When you look at just the base salary, it is actually pretty much on par with Facebook and Google. Their stock grants are also pretty competitive as well. The downside to Coinbase's total compensation package is the fact that they don't offer an annual bonus and with the sign-on bonus that they do offer, I found that to actually be pretty run-of-the-mill and nothing to really get too excited about. So because of that lack of a bonus, that's really what is pulling down their total compensation package. Of course, as the company is going public, they may change that, they may start offering a bonus. Um, and so that's one thing to keep in mind, but right now that lack of a bonus really does hinder the total compensation that you receive. All right though, so what was Coinbase's severance package that they're offering to employees back in September? Let's go ahead and get into that. So employees with less than three years of tenure at the company would receive four months of their pay. And then for employees with more than three years of experience with the company would receive six months of pay. Regardless of tenure, employees would receive six months of COBRA for medical insurance, and they would receive a seven year window in which they could exercise their stock options. In a lot of ways, the severance package can seem a bit cold and a bit cruel, especially when you consider the social and political 
climate at the time. On the other hand, it was kind of nice that Coinbase provided employees a way to gracefully leave the company if the company was now standing for something that the employees themselves couldn't get behind. That's it, that's the video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you disliked this video, be sure to share it with someone that you hate. I make videos like this one each and every week, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification bell so you can get notifications each and every time that I upload another video. We also have a growing Discord community that is completely free to join. Link to that and many other things can be found in the video's description down below. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.